Hello, I'm Shannon Towers and I've been working with Canal Von Nee on their family food and fun project, funded by Comic Relief. Well, today is a good day. Not only is it the first day of half term, but it's the first day that we're allowed to go anywhere in Wales. So I'm out and about. You might be wondering what I'm doing, um, why I'm wearing uh, these pegs, um, and why I've got this. It doesn't matter what we're up to this half term, where we go, um, there's always room to fit in a good old fashioned scavenger hunt. And I know that you guys really love a scavenger hunt. Only this time, with it being spring, everything's popping out, starting to show itself for the first time. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can do your scavenger hunt using one of these. And I'm going to give you everything you need to do it. Off we go. Everyone is going to get an envelope like this and inside is everything that you need to make your own scavenger wheels like these. But before you do that, before you get out into the outdoors, there's a few steps that you need to do um, to create your scavenger wheels. Um, and here they are. You should have everything that you need already to make your own scavenger wheels. Step one, you'll need to carefully cut out your wheels. Step two, cut out the smaller circles. And then step three, using the glue dots, stick the small circles to your pegs. When you found what you're looking for, it's really useful to have the pegs on you so that you can quickly complete your scavenger wheel. Here's a bird. Found it. That's a good match. Uh, maybe I'll even take a piece with me. Um, almost complete. Don't forget, when you're out and about, take some videos, take some pictures, send them to Sally. We want to see what you get up to and what you find. So, have fun hunting. Off you go.